Navigating B Network's Verity is simple and very intuitive. The way that we navigate through all of our different views and zoom in and zoom out to get more detail of our topology in the network view is by double clicking inside any of the rectangles. In fact, anything that is rectangle in shape in our, net, in our view is navigatable and zoomable. So for example, if I wanted to get more details of the leafs, I just double click in the leafs rectangle here, and now I zoom in to specifically look at that features. Now if I want to get more detail of, the, of a specific switch, I double click inside of that switch, and of course I now drill in and I get more detail. If I double click the top part of the switch, I get details of the network underlay, I also get information on the configured interfaces and what is happening and what the top talkers are from a quick, easy view. I also can get more detail on the switch by double clicking in this view for the switch information. And of course I get the make and the model and the serial number of the device. Now, if I want to back out and zoom back out, I can easily do this by double clicking outside of the rectangle to do a simple view. I can also do this by using the breadcrumb and taking a step back that way. I can also use our navigation buttons inside the system such as the navigation back and the navigation forward button as well as the, wor the world button to take me back to a holistic zoomed out world view of everything. I can also get details of the switches by double clicking inside the bottom here to look at the specific interface ports. I can also quickly navigate this by clicking and dragging and moving this way or if I double click on the top it'll zoom up a level and if I double click down at the bottom of the view it'll zoom down on the bottom. I can also double click inside of these interfaces to get the configuration and details of what's going on including bar graphs which I can get the information on from these. I can also get detail on what is currently configured for that interface seeing that this is a tenant lag. I can see the configuration for the lag uh, by double clicking inside this and I can actually see what the, v the values are in the services. I can also use my mouse wheel to do fine grain zooming in and zooming out, but double doing the views of double clicking works just as easy and is much more efficient. The other thing is this, this zoomable capability works in all of the different workbenches as well. For example, if I go into the provisioning workbench, I could double click in the tenant section here to get more details of the configured tenants, including drilling into the tenants themselves to get views of the, and get detailed information and views of the services as well to see how they're configured and how they're actually operated. And once again, I could double click outside of the boxes to step back. I can use my navigation buttons here to do the exact same thing, including going back to my worldview and zooming back into the main world. Thank you.